We should hurry, Link. Now that your Loftwing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I... I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? Nope. <laughs> nah, you gone crazy, girl. <laughs> it's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Calling out from the clouds. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Yes, I have. Some say it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see it for myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, Link. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look for your bird. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. Don't push me off, Zelda. How's that? Because <laughs> I can dip, but... Here we go! My loft wing! Oh! The feeling of first getting your loft wing to come to you. Alright. Link, let's run your bird through the basics just to make sure he's not hurt. You can fly your bird in any direction. When he's headed upward, he'll slowly lose speed. When you want to speed up, direct your bird upward again to gain altitude. Oh, uh, it's crap. So again, gain some altitude, then dive to speed up. Those are the basics of you getting your bird up to top speed. So how is he handling? You think he's flying all right? Yeah, you think he's good. Yeah. go and dive 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 while riding your loft me you can press side to, at any time to go over the basic controls again thank you you can also charge which is an attack that also gives you a burst of speed as well as slow down when you need to try all these moves to see how they feel charges x there we go. Easy. Easy peasy. Except the... It's definitely interesting trying to control... There we go. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Link, but your loft wing looks like he's flying great. Yeah, he does. That's my boy. My father and the others are probably worried about your bird, so let's go give them the good news. Sounds like a plan, Sam. <laughs> your loft wing is really amazing, especially considering the poor guy's been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back to tell father what happened. What a slow run. <laughs> ah, is my boy. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plaza is you found your that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great because you, you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. 
Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. You're almost a man and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Bruce has been going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour in a ruffle about her. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of a goddess in today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sail cloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth Zelda's sailcloth will be mine. Duh. Oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. I'll be a, it'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real I can I can see it. <laughs> duh, duh, oh yeah. Gross. Gross behind you. Right behind you. What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of Gah. Mm -hmm. Can't explain just what you meant by our special moment alone. I, uh, nothing big really, just, just... Link, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how, we glad, how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later Zelda, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. That's my boy. He's got that stunt. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chance of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just be out just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down I think you do too. I'm a com I'm a confident boy. I'm a confident boy. That's the spirit link. Trust me, you can win this. Hey! Who's this? Olan? The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like the it's race time. Good luck, Link. Time to get that race going. Ba, ba, ba. It's just four of us. Oh. Your attention, please! At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with down once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. But do you need to hear them again? Nah, we're good. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will gra graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. 
Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate this occasion, today's champion will also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gifts herself. And as you well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... <laughs> the lovely Zelda! <laughs> let's find your... Yeah. Let's see your... Oh. Hey, magic. <laughs> let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. Cool. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey. All right, gentlemen, line up at my command. The competition will begin. Magic, how you going, girl? You doing all right? Go! Oh, crap. Time to dip. I'm going. I'm going. I'm doing good. I gotta get this bird. Yo, this bird's mine. Easy peasy. Crap. Crap. Where'd it go? Crap. I missed. No, I had it. Yes. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? No. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you like fly with an egg on your face. Oh my goodness. These guys, I tell you. Whoop. Whoop. Yo, they hit me with eggs and everything. Wow. Look the audacity of these people. Whoa. Oh, I just missed that one. I got this one. I'm going good. Thanks. Waiting for the new fatal. Wait, I got the bird statuette. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Waiting for the new fi fatal frame game to launch in 30 minutes so I can download it straight away. My new webcam is really good too. Ah, nice. What's uh? I don't even know what Fatal Frame is, to be honest with you. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> is that like a. Uh, what kind of game is it? Link! <laughs> Bruh. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great flying, Link. Congratulations. Hey, she's real close. Now we better get going with the... Better get on with the wing ceremony. Do -do -do. Link, hand me that bird statue you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. I can go for some bacon and eggs. Oh. Nice. Statue it done. Time to play the harp. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Do the music in this? The Legend of Zelda music is my favorite. Fatal Frame is a series. Oh, cool. I've definitely heard of that then. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us with your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk, in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. Give me that sailcloth, girl.
The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft the sail, which I now pass on to you. Let's go! You got the sailcloth! Now you can jump off from any height without fear of a painful landing. It smells nice, too. Nice. Link, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. I'll, I'll definitely search up on YouTube for sure. And yes, I'm playing on the Switch. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this sailcloth in time to give it to you to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? I got you, don't worry. Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Link. You and your pointy ears, I got you. Ah, uh, you do know what happens at the end, right? <laughs> sort of. Hehe, <laughs> I'm glad you're so well informed on the subject. You have to jump off the statue! Wait, what? Oh, I actually, I thought we were getting kissed. Darn, it is what it is. Look down, you see that big round design in the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop right down in the center of it. Leap off the edge here, right before you hit the ground, press ZR to open up your sailcloth. I thought they were gonna smash, bro, I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> ZR, that's the, this one, yeah, I got you. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your stale cop. So ready to jump? Yeah, you better believe it. Whoa! Stop pushing me! This woman all... So much. Alright, I got this. I don't even think I opened it up. I think I just... I just... I think I just hit it. <laughs> That was perfect. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just hit space planted in the ground, but cool. That was perfect. You're amazing, Link. Thank you, thank you. What a picturesque moment. Wow. Wait. Why does she keep... Honestly, bro, that's like... <laughs> Literally, she pushed me off when my bird was wasn't, wasn't even here, so she almost murdered me, and now she pushed me off at the statue. Like, girl, you got some anger issues or something. Please. You know, Link, seeing as how you won today, and with the weather being so nice, you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Not really. I kind of want to go sleep again. I kind of want to sleep again. <laughs> Alright, I guess we we're doing it anyways. <sighs> Link! Hey, Link! What? Today was amazing. Watching you win the race and perform the ritual together, I'll always remember this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It really was wonderful. Ah, just making memories with my girl. You know, Link, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Yeah? Oh, okay. Wow. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a sandstorm, a tornado. I think. Oh, jeez. What's going on? I don't know, man. It's literally a tornado in the sky. Oh, crap. I got you. No, I don't. Just kidding. JK. JK, LOL. Shoot. I was not expecting that. I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't even expecting it. Oh. And it knocked me out. Sorry about that, just a GameCube controller. Link. 
Oh, it's Fee. I need a different voice for her. I'm waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Link. Zelda. Oh, nice. We're chilling. Oh, no, we're not. Bro, that's a nightmare and a half. Jeez. Nightmare and a half. That's nightmare fuel right there. Ah, you're awake. Oh. Oh. <laughs> when your loft wind carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. Yeah, but Zelda, though, go. My God. What a failure. But Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Listen, you're not gonna believe this, but we had a tornado, okay? We had a tornado. Link's doing his best to not get in trouble. Ah, oh, black tornado, you say? Mmm, that was no ordinary storm. All right, you know something we don't. T was tell us what's up, Gipora. You know something we don't know. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Well, now that you mention it, she started hearing voices in her head, so there's that. And I don't know what was going on, so I was just like, well, what's going on? Ah, I see. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having daydreams about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. All right, Gipora. I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm off to go save her. He looks mad. Rest now, Link. Zelda is going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Well, I know that too, but she's probably not safe. That's what I'm trying to get at. What a dad, right? No search party, no nothing. I was just... I'm hearing Fee. I'm hearing Fee. All right. I like how he has like little statues. That's okay. He's a, he, oh, Link does wood carving? What a guy. All right. Time to go see what these voices are all about. Gotta go. Hey, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. This isn't tag. Just tell me what's up. <laughs> this isn't tagged, man. Dude, this, the music in this series is second to none. Ugh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, crap. It's May. Me? My? My? May. Oh, butthole. My? May? Ah! Oh, you trying to fight? Am I trying to fight this guy? What's up? Yeah, what are, you, what are you saying, huh? I don't know what I don't know what his problem is. Should I keep fighting it or do I keep going? Yeah, yeah, keep going. Okay. 
Oh wait, there's a there's a treasure there's a chest here. I don't want to keep beating up on. Ow. Bro, I was just trying to help you out, man. What's the help do? Move. Move and press A to leap. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't help. Okay. Oh, this is for the climbing. Yeah, yeah. I got that. Oh, crap. Do I have enough? No, I totally do. There we go. I'm coming, Fee. I'm coming. <laughs> but, like... I don't know if you guys are music people, right? But... So, the whole point... Ah, oh, crap. The whole point of this, the, the game and the game design and what Miyamoto, the like the essence of Legend of Zelda was to kind of like portray the sense of adventure that he had. And just like, if you look at, you know, how nighttime and it's like supposed to be a serene evening and just the strings with the woodwinds, it sounds like a, like a kind of like a pan flute or something. It just works so well. Ugh. Like, it's a perfect sense of calm, but a sense of, like, slightly um, exotic adventure, which I love. This is, I just love this series so much. Alright, well, I can't go through stone, girl. I don't know, don't know what to tell you. Oh, okay. I should have waited a bit. Is this the statue of the goddess? Yes, it is. The backside of the statue. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, she inside the statue of the goddess. Yes. Oh, and there's a sword. Glowing sword, nonetheless. What is this? Oh, there's V. Yeah. <coughs> Work on my fee, boys. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. V is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must take up this sword as the chosen... As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, Uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. <laughs> to minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information is of high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek Honorable Zelda is still alive. Oh, that's good. Nice. Good info. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you and set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <laughs> Heck yeah! It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. 
In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Ha, she did the thing. She called it skyward sword. Ready stance. Remove. Quick screenshot. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Nice. Recognition complete, master. Hey. Link, my master. Is that something like high tech? Link! Oh, I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago, the sword that I've kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I've sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the bl blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Surface. A little flashback for those who missed it. The old tales describe of a world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the Surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the Goddess. It is also only the method available for you to reunite with the Spirit Maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world far, the world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. Oh. What is this? This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with the skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. 
Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. I got you. I got you. There it is! Excuse me. Putting the tablet there. So four different tablets. Gotcha. Oh. Boop. So I'm assuming then each tablet will open up a different section of the world for me to drop down into. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. You? Link, listen a moment. Mm. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, what if this fee says is true? Zelda is alive! Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link. Especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. I got you. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend true. I got you. I got you. You do your people proud, Link. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link, and those clothes, they don't, don't look up to task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. <laughs> yes, sir. And this is where we get our classic heroes uniform brand spanking new mm. that green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year to be honest i've had my doubts about the color but oddly enough seeing you wear this uniform i can't imagine a more fitting color for you it's as though you were born to wear it Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have any questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Hmm. All right. Fun fact, for those of you that don't know. Oh, one second. Link. It's all Fledge, our boy Fledge. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you'd be you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. 
I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items with this handy piece of gear. I have that now. I have the adventure pouch. There we go. Wait. Oh, dang. Is it automatically tracking for me? That'd be pretty cool. There we go. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. Link, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. A spineless coward. But I appreciate the pouch. Where am I headed? Oh, this guy. I don't even want to talk to him. I don't even want to bother with him. One of the bullies. We don't deal with those top kinds of people around here. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. Everyone keeps saying that, man. Fine. I'm getting peer pressured by a sword. To go buy a shield and shield and some potions. To the bazaar we go. Which, if I remember correctly, is over here. That's a weaponsmith. Hi. Hello, and welcome to the item check. Want to put stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay. Want to take something out of storage? That's fine. So, is there anything in your pouch or in storage that you want to move? No, I actually don't know this. What, that's what this place is. Oh, really? Great. Not like my time is worth anything. My bad, girl. Jeez. Oh, I hate him. I hate him already. I hate this guy already. He's so happy, and I turn around. Ah, oh. happy. That. Ah, ah, customer, hello, friend. <laughs> My shop carries the finest products you'll find anywhere. Please take a moment for your senses to savor the wonderful treasures I have prepared just for you, friend. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Oh, yes, yes, allow me to explain. All you need to do is stand in front of the item of all, any of my wares and press A to examine its beauty. Take your time and shop to your heart's delight. It's always free to look, my friend, and there's no pressure to buy. No pressure at all. Hmm. Aha, that's a wooden shield. You can use the block and repel attacks. You must be careful though as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Oh, and don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. It's an unfortunate property of wood. It could be yours for 50 rupees. How many rupees do I have? Care to buy it, friend? Yeah, sure. I got 90. You got a wooden shield. This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. Ah, thank you for your loyal and continued patronage, friend. I've taken the liberty of placing your item in your pouch. To open your pouch, just hold R. Select the item you want to equip and release R. That's all That's all there is to it. For example, to equip an item like a shield, it's as simple as selecting it in your pouch. All right, I'm out of here. There we go. Mm. Hey, you there. Yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. 
Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink your potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Hmm. Let me tell you. One look at you, and I can tell you need potions by cauldrons full. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh dear, I forgot to ask you if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing, just my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle, so it's a useful thing to carry around. You got an empty bottle. You can fill it with all sorts of useful things. Mm. Empty bottles fit in your adventure pouch. Press R to take a look. If you ever get the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop it off at the item check. Mm. So what would you like to buy? That's a lot of potions. What's this one? This mysterious elixir is known as revitalizing, revitalizing potion. Simply pour it onto a broken shield and in moments the shield will be as good as new. It's amazing. Not only that, but this multi-purpose mixture will help restore four hearts. Nah. <laughs> I don't need your window shoppers here, dear. I just, just give me like a regular... That's a vat of heart potion. Drink this, dear, and it'll replenish eight hearts. Why don't you pick some up for your adventure? It's only 20 rupees. How about it? Yeah, we're talking. This is... I'll take that. We have one bottle. You got a heart potion. When placed in your pouch, you can use this item to restore eight hearts. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can mix something up for you. I'm good. There. I got a potion and shield, just like everyone wanted. Now it's time to skedaddle on out of here. There's a ledge I can jump. <laughs> There's a ledge I can jump off of. Doesn't sound very good, but. Oh. Perfect. What's in here? What is in here? Can I not open it? Hit it? How do I open this thing? Why can't I open it? It's a chest, isn't it? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I don't know why I can't open that chest, but... Maybe at some point, I'll be able to. Looks like we're going down there, boys! I hope my lost one's up to the task. Yep. Here we go. Determined. That's one word for this man right here. Literally falling from the sky. The land below. Uh, probably a good idea. Don't want to just slam. Oh, B again. Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has been long part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Alright. Sealed Grounds, gotcha. Giant Spiral. Trippy graphics, nice. Okay, yeah, so there's, I'm assuming four different sections because of the four different parts of the tablet. Yes. Please proceed with caution, master. I got you. Don't even trip. Can I save my game here? I have to do the whole... No? Can't save? Okay. That's cool. 
Come on now. Come on now. Make it easy. Make it harder for me. Oh, dang. All right. All right. Now we're talking. All right. What's up? All right. What's up? Dang it. Okay, this one up. What? Gotcha. There we go. We did it. How do I block? Link's doing a very good job of, a very bad job of using his shield. Oh, another, another cutscene. Gross black stuff at the bottom there, nice. Oh! Oh, it's growing. Oh, and my head hurts now. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Boom, 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 boom. So it's just a dream. Good. Got a bit of wind. Nice. He's very aware of his surroundings, which I appreciate. Wait, what's up, Fee? Master, I have information to report. While these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by a powerful, unidentified force. Oh, that's really not that much. Okay. That's... Information is not the most useful. I was really hoping for some good information. Why'd you have to get down there? Cause I can just hop down, right? Oh, it looks like there's something over there. One sec. Let me take a look at that. There's a hole here too. Oh, and I can use these just to keep sprinting. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. And now we're talking. I don't want to say I'm a pro gamer, but... Oh. Alright, I'm just hopping off. Oh yeah, this thing's ready to... This thing's evil. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Yeah, what's up? That's me. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Bet. I got you. Bet. That was stupid. Alright, so you do one of these. Done. And uh, okay, that's what the holes are. It's they're air geysers. Bring me back up to the top. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I've also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise it belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to me? Nah. <laughs> Understood, Master. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target and point in, the, point in the direction you wish to search.
Easy. Easy. Big brain gameplay. Big brain gameplay. I think... Right here. Must be. It's the only thing that makes sense. Oh, yeah. We can move in now. So, just for you guys' information, I've played this game before, but up until this point, I have not done anything else. <laughs> I've played this game and have never gotten past this point. So, I... For anything from this point on is brand new to me. I just could never really get into the motion controls. Safe. And I don't think I had like time. I was in university and stuff, so. And we got a cool thing up here. Oh! Nice. The traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. The Impa, I'm pretty sure. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive. All is all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. That would suck, waiting, having to wait here. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Link. You are concerned for the Spirit Maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She sent out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that you will lead you to foreign woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press A to place a beacon. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Go now. You must head into Farron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, Make, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to your journey. Mm. Mm. Easy. She's got that hair power. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all your questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link. Go bravely. I'm pretty sure that's Impa. I'm pretty sure that's Impa. I'm not positive. Can't guarantee you guys. But I'm pretty sure that's gonna... That, that old lady is Impa. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a chair. Okay. Well, what if I sit on it? Oh, something happened. Wait, something's happening. 
Oh, nothing. Okay. Alright, I honestly thought something was gonna happen. I don't know why I thought something was gonna happen there. She said there was some, a treasure chest. Is anything happening? No. Well, what do I do? Uh, I guess we'll just leave through here. As she wanted me to do. The game wants me to do this, and so I shall. And there's my beacon. No rupees? What kind of grass is this? There we go. What kind of grass doesn't have money in it? No! Get away from my Gorn! Out of the way, scrap! I got you. I got you. What's up? Huh? Huh? Oh crap. Huh? Huh? Yeah, what's up? Easy. I got you, Gorin. I got you. Whoa, thanks for help jumping in there to rescue me, bud. I got you. Who are you? Just who are those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you all sorts of weird things going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys. So let me tell you something fascinating. Hey, hey bud. I'm Gorko the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient text, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling to the sky or down from the Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks they are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one to believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here in the first place? It's a real head scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Yeah. Ah, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. All right, bud, you had better brace yourself. I'm about to blow your mind. So get this, people actually live on this sky island and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are always way bigger than the birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. This Isle of the Goddess is even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the Goddess herself, so it figures that it's filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you'll live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are not crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather? Oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in the Garden of Paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Mm -hmm. Amazing, right? Wrong! It is beyond amazing. Mm -hmm. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Nah, I'm good. Ah, uh, that's so, that's so, bud. I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess I can wait. Whoa! What's going on, man? Mm. 
What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it. How crazy is that? It's like Canadian hick accent that goes to Shaggy. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Mm. Boro! Oh. What was that? Oh. The statue just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on, do not make a guy beg. I have to know. Nope, see ya. Oh, there's a thing up here. And a bug. Can I catch the bug? No. I see a cave. Oh, okay. So I, I just found a way up. Gotcha. <laughs> oh. Also look like there's things in the trees too. There we go. Ah, now, okay. I got the blocking thing. I got the blocking thing now. Master, now that you have accessed the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and will come back to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. I don't have an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo usage from the options. I have no amiibo to share. Link's strong, man. These are... Big hunksa, hunksa log. There we go. There we go. And I'm on the beacon, so I can go to the map. Get that out of the way. There we go. Oh my goodness, what? Master, you have entered Farron Woods. It's a big tree. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Oh, already? Look at me go. Look at us go. Easy peasy, fair and woods. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. I haven't used it once yet. But we'll see. We'll see if I need it. Another statue. Let me just quickly save again. The trick is constantly saving. Because you never know when something's gonna... Oh, swing. The globe meant. I was wondering what the glow was. I don't know. Can I parry? Yeah, I can. Easy. Talk. Come on, just go away. Aw, poor guy. What a cute little guy.
Mm. Oh, it's gone quiet. Quinkle! No, it's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me, cool queen. I won't. I was saving you, my guy. I'm back. I forget the name. What is the name of this person? Why are you running from me, man? What have I done? Alright, those mushrooms don't take any damage. Okay. Save again, always. There we go. to do to it. You mean you tell yourself it's the cozy game after this? <laughs> oh! I'm glad it's relaxing. It's relaxing for me too, honestly. Where'd you go? Oh, that's not you. He's up there. I'm not. I swear I'm not. I'm not bad. I'm just. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, bud? Oh, there you are. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. It's about to be again! Huh? You don't want to eat me, Queen? I come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? Keep a leap? I'm Machi. I'm a Kik Kikwi. You seem okay. Even, if, even though you're scary, thanks for helping me. That's weird, Kiku. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you. That one was a girl. What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, Cool Queen. She was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her, Queen, but she escaped with the Kiku Elder. <laughs> Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. Thanks. Thanks, bud. I have marked the position of the Kikui known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikui is most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to previous con direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction with for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing to search for Delza Zelda to Delza. You really spooked me, Kui, and you keep some very strange company, friend. Keep believe it sounds like you said I'm finding this friend in the elder. If you're headed that way anyway, you wouldn't mind telling you the elder that I'm safe. 
Cheer up, cool queep. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. I got you. If I wanna, I want this. Okay, it's just money. I mean, not just money, because money is useful, but hey, oh, almost, almost went overboard there. There we go. Oh, what's this? You got an amber relic. These amber colored chunks of precious stone are found everywhere. No one knows their strange shape comes from. Is that in the item tracker? I don't think so. Oh, but we also have this. There we go. All right, add that to the, add that to our collection. So it's time for us. Oh. We gotta find a climb up here. And it looks like we gotta sprint up. There we go. What's this? Oh, can I like roll these on the bad, the baddie? Oh, can I just throw it at him? Yeah. Aha, it does work. Nice. Innovation starts here. Oh, oh what's up? What? Yeah. Master swordsman over here. Big sword guy. Big sword guy over here. Oh. That blow up? Oh. I'm, blow up is a very loose term here. <laughs> blow up is definitely a very loose term in this case. Hi, right, bro. I also want this. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I also hear another rupee. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Nice. Another blue one. Thank you. Okay. Oh, hey. That's a big fella. Who wants to bet this is the elder? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. There we go. I thought there was a thing there. That was good. I missed. I can't believe I missed that. Wow. That is unfortunate for me. I guess the dozing is kind of useful. I would have found it by myself eventually, but speed up the process. Are you the elder? Bro? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. We, he, I am Buka, the Kikui Elder. I saw th the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage, Kui. You are clearly a master woodsman. Zelda? Ah, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. She was with me, Kui. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe. Kui, the shock and worry has me made my memories of the girl quite hazy. <clears throat> what? You say you've met some of my people, Kui. Kui, so Machi is safe, eh? Ah, but the monsters, they're still lurking in the forest. I don't care to leave. I don't dare leave this spot. 
you. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they're safe, Kui? I am worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember where... More about where the girl you seek went off to, Kui. Ah, fine. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikui Elder is an unfortunate setback, but he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the Elder. To expedite your search for these forest-dwelling creatures, I have added Kikwis as a dowsing option. Dowsing for Kikwis. Do you need me to explain how to switch dowsing targets? No, thank you. Additionally, I will mark any Kikwis you discover on your map and disable dowsing readings for them. That way, you will not revisit the same Kikwis. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing Kikwis. Yes. Thank you. Nothing here, alright. We gotta keep going further then, probably. Oh, can't get up there quite yet. That's fine. I will find another way. Octorok, don't wanna bother. Tight rope, cool. Oh, wait, I gotta bounce. We're cool, we're cool. Good bouncing act. Good bouncing act. All this for a partial heart container. You got a piece of heart. Collect four to increase your heart capacity by one. Three to go. I guess we're headed back. Sprint, 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 sprint. There we go. Nice. <laughs> this is the good old sprint tightrope. There's one over there. Okay. Gotcha! Dumb Octorak. Oh, I bet I have to hop through this hole. Where are you? Oh, there you are. What are you doing? Don't eat me! I taste terrible! Let me go, Queen! Huh? Elder was worried about me. I'm glad you're here. You're safe. We. Oui. I'm Ulu. If you meet the other, tell him I'm here. Ka -ki -pali <laughs> I don't know if he's safe yet, but I'm going to stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. Hi. No worries. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Wait. <laughs> This way. Can I hop up and then grab it? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm ba definitely backtracking, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Oh, my goodness. I just jumped way too far. Okay. So, I gotta do the rope thing. Oh, but luckily, I can just hop up here. This way, hop up here, hop up here, okay, alright, the dowsing's quite nice actually, over here, I'll deal with this guy, cool, 
Couldn't be easier. Can I hop? Can I make that jump? The answer is no. The answer is no. I cannot make that jump. Oh, cool block. The cool thing is that you can definitely see a lot of why, like how Breath of the Wild came to be, came to be, and how that used a lot of elements from this game, like stamina. Uh, the stamina wheel and how come here come here oh cool me and dows for kikwis I got you. Gotcha. Hey, there's another kick we around here somewhere. It's just a matter of where the heck. All right, up there. Come on, I got it. I figured it out. Yep. 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 Oh, thank you, stamina berry. Appreciate you. We drop down. Kick we around here. So oh, there you are. Come here. Come here. Come here. Bruh, how come? I gotta cut all the grass. Do I have to cut all the grass to. There we go. Quee! I've been discovered in a ha and here I thought I had a good hiding place, Quee. I'm Erla. You won't find another Kikui in the woods half as good as hiding as I am. Except the elder, of course, Quee. Okay. We got one more over in this general direction. Because even this, I was actually even thinking right now, the sailcloth is not dire as directional as Breath of the Wild, but definitely played a part in, uh, it definitely played a part. Where are you? You are. Oh, no. Take me. Around here, so. Oh. Oh, I literally see you in the tree there. Okay. All right. So I see you. Now, how do I get to you? Come on now. Wow, terrible at climbing. I'll give myself the head. Okay. Okay, so I got to get to this tree over here. Alright, we'll get there, we'll get there. Get that. Nice. Yes, I can crawl! Ah, oh, cool. Oh, fairy. You found a fairy. This playful sprite replenishes six of your hearts. Well, too bad I don't need that right now. Would have been nice to keep it, but... Alright, here we go. Jostle? What does jostle mean? What was I supposed to do there? That was dumb. Didn't like that. 
didn't really understand the, the goal there. Let's try this again. This time, he'll be gone though, so that's nice. Alright. Oh, it's in this tree. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. So I gotta take out... Does this guy have a hat? Oh, no. He just says he's a little bandit. Oh! Oh, jeez. Sorry. Sorry about that. I'm sorry about that, guys. Got them all. You fought up all those red guys, so does that mean you're a good guy? See, I've got a problem. My legs have turned to jelly and I can't get down. You think you can help me, Queen? I got you. I got you. Let me grab these rupees here. Okay or not? At least the hearts, okay or not? This tree has a ruby for me, so I'm gonna grab that. All right, I get one of these. Let me do one of these. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Ouch! That was uh, effective. Anyways, thanks to you, I'm saved. He believed. Really, the idiot was, elder was worried about me. Well, I'm glad to hear you saved, Kweeku. Oh. My name's Lopsa. If you see the elder, can you please tell him where I am? Oh, Kweeku, my legs are still shaking. I am not detecting any additional dowsing responses in the area. I suggest you go speak with the Kikwi elder. I know, but I know. I thought you were another monster. Don't scare me like that, Kukui. Let me get that big jump. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I was I was worried for a second there that I wouldn't make it. All right. I actually kind of want to see what's in this little temple here, too. It looks like there's, oh, there's definitely a bad guy. There's not it. This man has like perfect, perfect dodge, um, blocking skills. What the heck? Okay, just need to find the elder again, and we should be good to go. Need to figure out where the heck he, is. heck he ran off to. Okay, guys, what? What's the problem? What's the problem here, huh? I will. I'll get you all. I don't care. I'm a maniac. Oh, cool. Wait one sec. What's this? This is a golden skull. A real rarity among skull ornaments. It shines bright, eerie golden color. All right. Got one of them. Oh, and I can crawl. I've never seen Link crawl before. Octorok. I'm... Oh, crap. What happened to my... Here it is. If you're just joining, this is my first time doing this, so if I if it looks like I'm very bad at it, it's because it's my first time trying it. There we go. Not my first time playing Legend of Zelda. Definitely not, but my first time doing this game. Okay. Go talk to the elder. 
Kui! So all my fellow Kikwis are well, and they want me to stop worrying. Haha, <laughs> excellent. They know me too well. You have a real talent for finding whatever is missing, Kui. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. <laughs> Kui hee hee! I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remembered where that young lady went. That young girl, Zelda, was her name? Ah, uh, yes, it's all coming back to me. She said she had to travel to the temple deep within the woods, Kui. Oh ho, I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there, but the clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off her own just the same. He has such a little thing, too. I think she headed down that way towards the temple, Kui. But be sure to take great care if you follow her. That area is crawling with monsters. I'm crawling with Riz, okay? And I got a sword. Oh, ho, I almost forgot, Kui. As a result, reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis. I want to give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Let me just fetch it for you right now, Kui. Pardon me a moment. Don't rip off the thing from your back. Or what's happening? Oh, please don't. What? Alright, let me, let me grab that, though. You got Slingshot! How? Oh, I'm so confused as to why he has a Slingshot in his back. Ah, either way, whatever. Use this projectile shooting weapon to fling Deku Seeds at your foes. The hard seeds will stun your enemies. Alright, so Slingshot, we now have. Items, ZR. Kinky. What's kinky? The slingshot? With that slingshot, Kui, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where the temple is. With the slingshot. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Alright, sounds good, bud. <laughs> to get started, why don't you shoot that vine over there, huh? Couldn't wait to shoot it, could you? Well, Kui, I suppose that's a good thing. It will make an explanation much easier to understand. Q -Q. Hold ZR to ready your slingshot, Kui, then release ZR to shoot fly. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Now, go find that girl. I'll be rooting for you, Kui. Ha, ha, ha. I missed. I missed. I missed. Okay, I don't know why he wants me to shoot that vine if I'm gonna- if it's not even gonna work. That's the dumbest thing. Maybe I missed something without the picture to go along with it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I'm gonna hit you. Oh, easy. Big dubs. Big dubs. You got an ornamental skull. The simple, slightly macabre fashion statement bears the bokoblin symbol. Does, if you guys know what these collections are for, I would be very grateful to hear it. Because I have no idea what they're for, if I'm honest with you. I have no idea what they're for. And looks as... Oh, water. Can I... No, I probably need the... Just like any other... Zelda game, I probably need like the metal boots and the Zora. Metal boots and the Zora outfit so I can breathe underwater. Or at least the metal boots to get down there. Alright. I'm gonna move our way over here. Oh, it's a symbol. Symbol? Not sure which symbol that is, but it is a symbol. It is. <laughs> Master, I highly suggest you save the progress of your quest before you set out to- Yeah, thank- Bro, relax. I got this. I was literally headed here to save. Bro, he's slightly get- slightly getting on my nerves. Like, of course I'm gonna save. I- I am a save scum. I will save- Alright, gotta roll into the ground here. Roll into that. No. Roll into here. Or do I have to hit it with the fit slingshot? Yeah. Alright, you can't do you can't just do that anymore. You gotta hit it with the slingshot. And you grab that. Look this way. Okay. 
this way. There we go. There we go. We got it. Jump. Easy. Easy money. Easy money. So, yeah. For those... Oh! Is that my boy Girihim? I know... I know those... I've never played this game, but I've read the Hyrule Historia, so I know... I know those tights anywhere. I know those diamond tights anywhere. Uh, the deep woods. Nice. But yeah, for those of you that are just joining in, I appreciate it for one. Uh, but for two, my name is Gary Medic, aka Aaron, and I am doing. Oh, am I on the ambush again? Yeah. And I'm doing all of the Legend of Zelda's, nah, the majority of the Legend of Zelda's through the Hyrule Historia timeline. So today is my first very ever, come on, what's up? First ever stream of this. Let me, let me parry, please. Can I not? There we go. And so, uh. Obviously, we're strong with Sky Restored because that's the first one in the Hyrule Historia. There we go. It's the first one in the Hyrule Historia timeline. Let me get that. These guys are master blockers. Jeez. There we go. But, me personally, I've actually never played. Sorry, that's a lie. I haven't played this one to completion. So. This is the furthest I've ever gotten playing this game, just because I wasn't able to get past the motion controls. I now have it for the Switch. Oh, crap of bees. I'm gonna run away. I now, I now have the, it on the Switch and I don't have to use motion controls, so I'm giving it the good old college try. I wish these guys were stronger so I could do the final... Oh wait, let me do the thing. So I can do this the final strike. Go, 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 go. Oh! I'm an idiot. Come on, Aaron. Come on. And this guy's just waiting for me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I didn't know this guy could also come on here. Come on, bro. <laughs> All right. In that case, I'm going to hit him with the... <laughs> I didn't know he could do that. I'm going to hit him with the Deku Seed. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. It had to be done. It had to be done. That's really cool that they can try and balance on it, too. We're just going to make it a bit... Gonna quicken this up a bit. Uh, but yeah, so... I am, if you don't like voices, and if you like speedruns, then this might not be the right stream for you, because I'm here to just, like, enjoy it, um, I'm a huge fan of, oh, it's my guy, I'm a huge fan of Legend of Zelda and just, like, how they try to capture the essence of adventure, and capture the essence of, ouch, Octorok, please. How they try to capture the essence of like just joy and adventure and so my goal for this my goal for this whole series actually for this playthrough of the series is to just enjoy the game enjoy the music enjoy the atmosphere that it creates all that other all that fun stuff so if you like um randomizers and speed runs and stuff this definitely isn't the one for you but if you want to just like kind of like recapture what it's like to play the play these games for the first time then, uh, or if you want to share stories about, you know, the game itself, what it was like when you played it, you know, what your play first playthrough is like, that's what this, that's what this space is for, just to, I don't know, provide, uh, a, a calm Legend of Zelda environment. What the heck? How am I supposed to get across? Okay, there's a tightrope there, but, okay, okay, all right. Oh, the ledge. Duh. There we go. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. This isn't the only game I stream. 
actually this isn't even the main game I stream, but I think it might be for right now. Um, but mainly I try to play games with Twitch integration, so chat integration so you guys can be a part of it. Uh, my most recent kick has been... Uh, oh wait, 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 how do I deal with these things? It says Z uh, left to left to jostle, but I'm not sure what that necessarily means. I'm just gonna hit them with this thing. Uh, my crap. My most recent kick has been Bannerlord, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. But we're on Legend of Zelda now. Oh, I need a balance. Are you coming on here with me? Yeah, you are. All right, we're gonna back up. We're gonna back up quickly. <laughs> and I'm gonna knock you off. I'm sorry, bro. You're doing such a good job. I know, I know, I'm sorry. But you're a bad guy. So says the game, so. <laughs> it has to be done. Boop, 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 boop. Go, Linko! And I actually do have a lot of, like... I, I might not know the games perfectly, or like, the name of the bosses and stuff, but I know a decent bit of trivia... Oh! Trivia, when it comes to the games. So if you're interested... Oh, you can catch these things! Okay. Wait, is there Ag is Agatha here too? Is Agatha here too? You caught one Watt Woodland Rhino Beetle. Nice. What's this? And some Deco Seeds, nice. But I am also interested, like what's your what's your guys' favorite uh Legend of Zelda game? If you're Legend of Zelda, you know, fanatics. I a lot of people have been saying Ocarina of Time, but for me personally, like, that was, I feel like a lot of people's, um, favorite game is the first one they played. That's what I've been, that's what I've been finding. Or, the, the first one, the first major one they played. Or, one that they played when they were younger, right? Um, well, mine is actually Twilight Princess, unironically, and I feel like people have a lot of issues with it for... I don't feel like really. Whoa! Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, got him! I don't think they. I don't think people hate on Legend of Zelda for the right reasons. I'm trying to do the log. Now there's a face I know. Hey, bud. I just wrecked my voice doing that. Oh, that's it? Oh, no. Hold up, bud! I need to ask you a favor. Okay, just give me a... I want to do the log, man. Hold up, bud! <laughs> All right. Yes, what can I do for you? I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here, I stumbled onto one of these things just now, and it looks like something I have seen in the ancient texts. Okay. If I remember right... Yup, this is one of the things the goddess was said to have left behind for the hero of the legend. I'm pretty amazing, right? Even I thought up a name for these things. I thought of calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Let me see, uh... Summon forth the light from a heavenly blade, and may the sword's master receive aid. So, there you have it. I see you got yourself a sword there. What do you say we try and crack the mystery of this cube together? Yeah, sure. I want to figure out what it does, too. I have no idea what it does. Hey, thanks a million, bud. No problem. Can I move the log first? I guess not. This cube is made of some sort of metal I've never seen. I have wailed on it, but nothing happens. You know, bud, I would say the key to cracking this egg is on the one line, you know, the light from a heavenly blade. All right. Oh my goodness. I just want to do the log, man. <laughs> I need your help figuring out the secret of the goddess cube. Okay. Obviously, there's definitely no way of me getting around this. Okay. Whoa, did you see that? <coughs> and this voice is hard. I need that lemon water. <coughs> the cube just shot up into the sky. 
I think it reacted to that whirly beam thing that shot out of your sword. And where do you think the shot cube shot off to anyways? This mystery just got a whole lot more, uh, mysterious. <laughs> the techs say there are cubes like that all, all, like that one all over this island. Tell you what, you blast off as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. Can I move this log now? Yes, I can. Thank goodness. Yup. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. There's a chest over here. Give me the chest. See what's inside. It's money. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Also, give me this thing. Ow, that hit <laughs> landed on my head. <laughs> Uh, ba, ba, ba. Oh, there's another thing. There's another cube right here. Also, guys, where does... If you know, where does the... Where do the cubes actually head off to? I am okay with spoilers. Not, like, major ones, but... I mean, it's Skyward Sword. It's been out for, like, 10 years now. Oh, and it dipped. Unless Fee tells me. Which would be nice. I would like to save, please. There we go. Oh. God's sugar cube for his tea. <laughs> the door is sealed shut. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, wait, here we go. He who descended from above. Look to the star that the bird rising over... He rising heaven would gazes upon and aimed your shot there okay oh this I'm a genius absolute genius yes we're learning Dude, I miss, like, there's a fantastic sense of achievement, which is one of the reasons why I like this, these games, is, like, you get a sense of achievement for, for completing puzzles, for, you know, you're like, oh, wow, I'm not a complete idiot, and stuff like that, where I really appreciate being able to Skyview Temple. So it's my first temple, nice. I really appreciate... Being able to complete these. 